Hello and welcome to another CM Builder tutorial. In this tutorial we will look at how to create a new project. Start by clicking on the Create Project button on the home page and a new window will open. Enter your project name in the field provided and select the desired project status using the drop-down menu. Next, pick the project type. A closed project can be accessed only by users that are invited to that project, whereas an org-wide project can be accessed by all member users within your account. You can also add an optional cover image to your project. Once done, press the next button to generate a 3D map. Here, you can locate your project, which you can do by either entering the address of your project in the field on the top right, or alternatively, you can input the latitude and longitude values. In the viewer, you are able to switch between map view and satellite view. On the right-hand side of the screen, you will see the current map size displayed in the viewer, and you can modify it by selecting the various preset map size options. You can also manually adjust the size of the map by dragging any of the four corners of the map selection box in the viewer. The custom map option will display the size of this newly adjusted map size. Note, a larger map size will mean slower performance. Additionally, you can adjust the location of your map tile by holding the right mouse button and dragging to a new location. Make sure to click the Yes, Set New Address button after manually moving the map tile to confirm the new address for the map. Once done, press Generate 3D Map to proceed to the next step. In this window you can select your desired map elevation type, either topographic or flat. When selecting a flat elevation, you are able to adjust the ground level elevation by entering a number in the sea level field. Use the Display Sea Level Indicator option to measure the sea level elevation by moving your mouse anywhere on the map in the viewer. Lastly, use the Map Thickness slider or type in your desired value to adjust the thickness of your map. Once done, click Apply and Create Scenario. Now you are in the Site Plan window. This is where you can build out your project site logistics plan, and we will come back to it later. But for now let's click the project name on the top navigation bar to navigate to the project page. On the left side panel at the top you can view the name of your project. We are currently on the project overview page tab which is open by default when you navigate to the project page. You can view all your project details listed in the middle, the optional cover image, and a preview of your map as well. Below that is the documents page tab where you can upload 3D models or mesh files to add to your project. Once you upload a 3D model here, you will have options to download the original model, replace the model with an updated version, and archive the model as well. Below the Documents tab, you'll find the Coordinate System page tab, where you can set up your project north and add a custom coordinate system to your project to help geolocate your 3D models. Refer to our user guide for more information about these settings. Further. Use the Project Roles tab to set up the project's specific roles and permissions for users. Now, let's take a look at the Scenarios section. A scenario is a configuration of your project, and you can create multiple different scenarios inside any project. It allows users to test their construction process and logistics plan with different variables, such as one crane versus two cranes, to see what set of variables yield the best results. To create a new scenario, Press the Create New button under the Scenarios section, and it will create a new scenario, with the same setup as your original project setup. You can also duplicate a scenario by going to a Scenario card, and then pressing the Duplicate option. This allows you to selectively copy over the work you have done in the scenario you are duplicating. For example, you can keep the modifications you have made to the surrounding building models, or the excavation you have set up. That's it for this video. In the next tutorial video, we will look at how to navigate the site plan. 